Whoa! Oh, oh my God, Gertrude! Holy! Oh, stay away from that guy. He's gonna do that on me. Look! He's, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Run! 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 Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are at Skyway Pier. This is one of the longest piers I've ever been on. I mean, you drive on the whole thing, you can go all the way down to the end, which seems like a mile long. And there's also a south side. There's two actual piers on the Skyway Pier, and we're fishing on the north side right now. We're trying out fishing all these different pillars right here. This is just one of my favorite ways to fish, is just so we can get on fish right away. Hey, what's up? Thank you. Wow. Honestly, it's been a very slow day of fishing, a very slow two days of fishing. Uh, we've been trying a lot of different methods. You know, I have three different rods right now. I'm just trying all these different methods, but nothing's really working except for this one. And this one is always going to work well because if you have small hook, small bait, you'll catch small fish, big fish, medium fish. That's This rig is called the knocker rig. I have a piece of shrimp on here right now. This knocker rig is really easily tied. Yesterday and today, between yesterday and today, we've been jumping around like five or six different spots. You might have seen our last episode where we were kind of adventuring around with uh, the fish on channel, Bushy, uh, Cassidy and Mark. We were really looking for fish, but it was, it was hard to find them. And today, we're just like, come on, let's just get on something. Let's have fun and get on something together. This morning, we tried for some pompano. Bushy got one pompano, which is awesome. Cassidy got a pompano, but that's about it. Oh, you got one? It's a fish. Nice. I think it's a pompano. the tree. It took us two days, but we got one, right? Yep. Did you even have a tip with shrimp? Uh, what I did, I will bring some to you. I didn't tip it with shrimp, but I put some uh, scent to the uh, scent. Oh. Yeah, let, me, let me do that to your teaser as well, just in case. Oh, you're the second person I see use that. Yeah, I don't use it, but uh, our charter guy, the fish Alaska. Yeah. I wasn't catching, I was catching nothing and I got for me. And this guy said, Bush, he learned from me how to catch pumpkin. He said, try this. He was slamming. I, I refuse to use it, but today I have to because I haven't gotten a person. <laughs> and guess what? I started catching. Dude, that's awesome. I'm going to have to try some of this next time. Did you order that online? No, the, uh, some of the bait shops have it. It's good either shrimp sense or scent I, I like the scent Let's see, let's see. Let's see Magic. if any difference. Thank you. Magic trick. <laughs> Fish on doesn't do this a lot, but hey. We're desperate. We're desperate for <laughs> fish. Wah, wah. Hey, 
I just got the text from Cassidy that they have been finding some pompano and snook over in another spot. So I think we're gonna hop over there and see what's up. So here's my first setup right now. I've got three setups. My first one is a knocker rig. This is a two ounce egg sinker, a bead, and a one size one hook, octopus hook. 20 pound fluorocarbon tied to like a uh, uni to uni knot. Really simple rig. This is a good rig because you can just drop it straight down and this is what it looks like underwater. Right, with the bait on it, a fish can take it and it won't feel the tension because it's not a, it's not a fixed sinker. So this is good for like sheep's head and um, a lot of different fish on the bottom. My next rig, this one is just a free line. It's just 20 pound line with a long beak hook. This is a long shank hook uh, that's it's pretty small too because we're trying to catch Spanish mackerels with these. We put a long strip of bait or we just put a live bait on here and this hook prevents it from uh, getting bitten through. Whereas if it was just, if it was less of this, it would bite right through the line. So we put these long shanked hooks so that the Spanish mackerel can't bite through them. And for my last rod, I've got a goofy jig tied on here. And these are rigs that a lot of uh, people use here in the Tampa area, St. Pete's area. Catches all sorts of fish, snook, pompano. So this, this rig is primarily for pompano, but stuff like snook will bite it too. Cobia I've seen caught, Spanish mackerel, all sorts of things will hit this. So let's scope out the scene and see what we're gonna throw first. Did she got the bait? Come to us? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. so, are you, so you're gonna push them up? Uh, these are gonna... The pompano spot? This is all the way, all from the garbage, blue garbage all the way to the second pole. So we... We're gonna cast these and free line for Spanish mackerel. Up the water, free line for Spanish mackerel. Come on, let's see. That's what we're gonna do the rest of the day, right? That's how, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's try to catch the Spanish. We're pumped, guys, so let's, let's catch you something. You said they were killing it here the other day, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they were actually, they were catching them a lot. So what we're doing here, we're gonna cut this and just keep them cut here and chop it, you know, here and there, try to bring some Spanish mackerel. Chopping them up, huh? Yep. Well, she's doing the initial cut, and I'm just gonna come in and do the detail work. I'm doing the lazy cut. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna be free lining some of these baits. We're gonna be chumming all of this cut up bait right here. And uh, this is gonna be a great way to catch some fish and attract a bunch of fish to your line. You see, you throw these out, it attracts it with the scent. Then you throw one of these out and it'll eat this whole thing. All right, let's give it a try. Let's show it, guys. Let's bring the Spanish mackerel near up. Some more. I mean, I'm sorry. Minutes we can do that. Let's see how it's 
this knocker rig is really easily tied and I'm going to show you how to tie it up real quick and all the things that you're going to need to tie it up and have a successful day of fishing. You're going to need four things. Egg sinker, a bead, I like to use size one size octopus hooks and some leader line and I'm using 20 pound here. This is a good in between for everything. So first step, get your main line right here and you're going to attach your main line to your leader line and you're going to do that with a uni to uni knot. Uni to uni knot is awesome. You've got to know it if you want to attach lines together. And I teach you guys how to do that on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. There's a lot of guides on how to tie all these different knots and how to really get into fishing. Then clip off the ends. There we go. Now the leader line is here. I'm going to do about two feet of it. Now we're going to put your sinker. Now your sinker is important. You don't want to put it on that's too heavy and you won't be able to feel the fish. You don't want it too light and it kind of drags in the current. Right here, right now, one and a half ounce works for me. But you're going to have to figure it out for yourself. So I'm going to put the rig, the, um, the egg sinker on first. Then I'm going to put on this little bead. And then we're going to put on, and I'm using a one size one hook right here. There we have it. That's the knocker rig. It's really simple to use. You basically just cast it where you want it to stay, and then the bait will sit on the ground like this really nicely. Oh, and while I'm here, I want to show you guys our brand new rigs that we have on our website. These are called the Sure Catch rigs. These are essentially uh, a Carolina rig, but you can use this three different ways. It looks like this. See, it comes with three of these. I already pre tied them all. They have a really nice snail knot on here, a really sharp, strong circle hook. And I designed this specifically to catch a lot of different kinds of fish. So if you're the kind of fisherman who doesn't really have time to tie up your rigs and you want to just go and fish right away, I suggest you get a 10 pack of these. It'll come with 30 of them. You'll be able to fish for a long time. You don't have to tie your stuff. You just go out there, tie it onto your main line and start fishing right away. So that's our newest that's our newest rig that we have released. You heard it here first, guys. So now, for bait, it really depends on your area, but I can pretty confidently say shrimp will probably work. Fresh dead or fresh live shrimp will pretty much work. Um, if you use our squiddy bits or our shrimpy bits, that works well too. But unfortunately, I forgot to bring them, which is a real shame because this stuff gets bitten off so fast. I wish I had my clammy bits and squiddy bits because they always work really well on staying on the hook. So usually I would put this and a piece of squiddy bits on the end of it. But this is a good size to start with. Let's see what's biting. Okay, so now let me tell you where to cast it now. You can cast it open water and you might catch some nice stuff there, but I prefer to cast it near some kind of structure, right? So whether it's straight down on the, on the pillars that we're on right now, or casting it towards in between those pillars right there. But it's important that to me to actually put it near structure because looking underwater you always see the fish congregating around structure if they're in the middle they're probably just swimming through i like to fish where the school is so i'm going to try right here oh off the backboard over my uh, it went over everything everything because it's splashed somewhere on the edge and it went all over oh my gosh I went for a week and it still stinks. Look at this fish. It's oh, so colorful. It's Whoa! Oh. oh my god, Gertrude. Holy oh, cow. Stay away from that guy. You're gonna do that all day. Stay Look! He's, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Run, run, run. So, almost watch that because these guys are. That was so <laughs> close. So close. Yeah. He does it on purpose. Babe! He does it on purpose. 
That eats, bird just had diarrhea. He eats all day. Yeah, that's where I'm casting. That's, yeah, that's where I'm beginning the bigger one. See if you're gonna pull out the 12, 13 inches, so it's good. To okay, I'll, I'll give that a try. That gives me hope. Thanks, Bushy. Probably all gone. You have like one try. I wish I had our squiddy bit or some of our, our soft bits. Yeah. your technique okay I'm using I'm using a knocker rig. well I'm catching smaller fish right now I'm trying to catch like a black sea bass or maybe some sheep's head or some stuff yeah um, I've learned that this knocker rig is very effective around here nice just dropping it by any of these pillars right here yeah just dropping it straight down we've been getting a lot of action a lot of small things but yeah. nothing huge all right yeah I'm what gonna switch it I got a couple split shots on mine uh-huh I keep get, I keep getting hits but they're just stealing it do you let yeah. them take it for a while or um yeah well so I'm using a very small hook that's, okay that's another thing using yeah. a small hook and then a, a weight heavy enough to kind of stay in one spot all right yeah come give it a try we've got some fresh nice, shrimp man. oh shrimp yeah what are you using that's I'm using the big minnows oh you that's some shrimp. what it is yeah come here try that's some it. shrimp yeah, let me try a piece of shrimp I'll grab one of those. Let me drop one. Yeah, yeah. See if I can get them that way. Thanks. <laughs> Mark's on. What's he on? Hey, he's on the big fish. What was he using? A pinfish? Uh, pinfish. He might be a uh, piranha, though. He might be a Goliath. Oh, yeah. no. uh, he got you, right? Yeah, he got me. I gotta catch oh, you another pinfish. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even that long. Pinfish it wasn't even that long. It might be a Goliath. It really was not that. You saw me. Pitch it out, right? Yeah, it might be in the just, just like a minute ago. Yeah. You pitch it out, it took it. Yeah. How far out? Just right there in the shadow. Okay, that might be the good line. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, you saw it didn't pause at all. It no, just kept no. going. Locker rig, right? Yeah. See? Yeah. I was just saying that this will catch you at all sorts of things, big yeah. and small. Yeah, it was that pinfish too though. That yeah, pin I think it was uh maybe also big grouper. Yeah. Let me borrow y'all sabiki. Okay, let's try it yeah, out. That would be so I can catch a bunch of pins and y'all can get on some yeah. big fish. Here, Mark, I got, a, I got a rig for you. Oh. See, look, dude, this one is a two-aught circle. 30-pound yeah, line, bigger. Yeah, that would definitely work that for whatever that was. Well, Here, first of tie all, this one up to your next It could have been a gag. That's what it is. It could have been a gag for you. Yeah, gags do that too. Here, go ahead. And then it, it, it wasn't running like really fast. So I feel like it was like a heavy grouper, you know? That's a grouper and then you have to really like I know, but I, I didn't want to do that because it was going to break for sure. Yeah, 20 pound line is hard. All right, the bait. She found them. Nothing. You? No, it's not. Why don't you guys come over? I can still have snow club. Okay. What is that, Lane? Lane. Lane, it's going to cast you, sir. Yes, yes. There's a lot of those. Use it. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Let's put this guy on the hook and see if uh, anything big bites. Today I hope my name's something hits. B&M tackle. Be a good one. <laughs> Cassidy's bait. Right. You know, in Sebastian, we paid two fifty for one croaker. I know. For real? If you try one to get five pins. Wow. They're expensive. They say eight dollar for one uh, crazy eye. What they call it? Goggle eye. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Yeah, six to ten dollars for one bait. Or six to fifteen. Uh, Gotta put it under. Yeah. Depends. In the Keys, they use cold lobster to catch huge cabarros. Yeah. Did she? No. It's crazy. 
They always fight so much harder than you think. Brandon, Brandon, what do you feel? I feel a lot of little tiny things tapping up line. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to a bigger hook now. And I'm gonna put some of these pinfish that she's catching on. Hey, try it. Yeah, I'll just leave it out like Bushy's got. Look, he's got one now. Yeah, just like that, man. How are you doing, JC? Do you have a heavy uh, setup? I, I caught two lane snapper on the shrimp. A pen fish. No, one lane snap on the pen fish. Yeah. yeah. But it's been slow, huh? Oh yeah. I haven't yeah. seen any uh, mackerel come up. I haven't seen any pompano come up. Yeah. I, I wanted to get an update from from Team Skipper. <laughs> hey Skipper. What have we gotten so far? Because I came over and I'm like, Hey Skipper. Yeah. And it hit me when I was over there. I'm like. That's the channel name. Hey, Skipper. <laughs> the approachable. Oh, nice. Oh, girl. Another one. Ha, <laughs> sucker. Come to Gertrude's bait shop. <laughs> That's a big one. Whoa. That was a huge one. Oh, my God. Whoa, what's that one? That's a big pin. A big, huge pin. That's like a $3 pin. $3? $3. $3 for your honey. That's a good one. So this is, I'm sorry, this is going to your main line right here. Uh -huh. Then you tie, from your braid, just tie about six, seven inches of 25 pound mono, you know, to that, or even stronger, 30, 50, doesn't matter. Right, just so it won't, it won't get cut off. Exactly, right, right. you bring your fish in. Yep. They're going to hit it. And your hook swinging around. This is probably about six, seven inches longer. So once they hit it, they're going to dig deep into that pile. Right. But it doesn't matter because only thing that gets snagged is always this because the hook's is, in their mouth that's exactly. not gonna get snagged yeah so when they're pulling this just comes that's out that's so smart and you dude. bring your thing in that is really smart and you got all you some would, of these huh you got some of these i don't have any of the three you want ways some? yeah i'll take i'll take a ring or two um have you been catching uh, in the past few days yeah sheep has oh yeah mango snappers yeah i've been out here almost every day we went away for like two days we was in our hotel room uh-huh and then we just uh, recently came back. You just been sleeping in the car? Yeah, I just shrimp. Tiny Tim. All right, well. That was a quite a day of fishing. <laughs> that was, I mean, I always have a good time out here with my friends and chilling in the nature and being outside with the fresh, fresh air and blue water. You know, it's a really happy place. That's why I love fishing. It puts me in my happy place. And I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. Anyways, the rig, the knocker rig works really well for us in catching a bunch of little fish, giving us constant entertainment. So if you're taking your kids or you're just really bored and you want to catch something, this is a great way to hook on to fish. And you saw we caught everything in between, small, medium, and Mark hooked something very large on the knocker rig. Um, so give it a try and let me know what you catch. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on all of our social media platforms, and you can reach out to us, ask us questions anytime you want. Uh, here at Hey Skipper, we just want to help you get on fish. That's our main objective is to teach you guys different methods and different uh, experiences that you can take yourself. If you want to learn more about fishing, visit our website, heyskipperfishing.com. We do a lot, a lot of tutorials on there that's not on YouTube, um, and you'll be able to really get a good inside look at how to catch fish. Like I said, we have those brand new products. It's the uh, the new Sure Catch rigs. They just went onto our site, so hurry up and pick up some of those before they sell out. It can it can be within a few days. It can be within a month or so, but they're probably going to sell out soon. So put your order in if you're seeing this now. This is your fair warning that it, was, it might sell out. And I want to thank everyone so much for helping us make this video. Um, our friends for coming. Bushy from Fish On Channel. JC from Rad Reeling, Rad Reel Fishing Channel. Coming out to, to support and fish with us. You know, it's, it's great to have so much 
such a fun gang to hang out with while you're fishing. Especially when you really get along, it doesn't really feel like you're bored when you're when you're not catching anything because you're just kind of goofing off with your friends. So get yourself out, get your friends out, get your families out, get a nice fishing crew, and do some fishing. See you guys next week. Wow. Papano one, Papano two, barbecue meat plate. Oh, this is sweet and sour. This is a salt and pepper fried mm -hmm. seafood. How is it? Good. Mmm. You want to try Great. the fish? Yeah, get me some fish. Oh my god. It's good. Give you it's more than good. Oh. It's great. It's really great. It's great. Cassidy Dee Dee. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Cassidy Dee Dee. Mm -hmm. Right, let's take a bite. <coughs> 10 o'clock, hot pumpkin. 10 o'clock? Or 9, <coughs> nine o'clock. I like one? that face. <coughs> hey, Mark. <laughs> Alright. Well, you gotta put some soy sauce on top of it like this. Oh, God damn. I'm still, I'm still on the salt pepper calamari. Let's try it. Mmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. So fresh. Mmm. -hmm. That's really good. What does it mm -hmm. taste like? It tastes like a pompano. <laughs> it's really buttery. The texture is really nice. I mean, we just caught this how long ago? A couple hours. A couple hours ago. Mm. Delicious. All right, you turn, you try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really soft. <laughs> mm. There's no words. You just have to come try it. Mmm. That one's really good too. It's sweet and tangy. Really nice texture. I gotta send a picture to um, Bushy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bushy didn't. He just wanted to keep fishing. Mm -hmm. He's probably still out there, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna message him asking how he's doing.